It's all in the context of this greater vision of a sustainable Baltimore. Sustainable Baltimore. Sustainable Baltimore. Regardless of what zip code you live in and what neighborhood you live in, would have access to healthy, affordable food. Growing food is probably one of the most basic skills that can be practiced. Healthy, affordable food. How can you get people out? Get them out and see what's happening. And how can they use what they're learning? See what's happening. Get them out and see what's happening. In Baltimore, over the last decade, there have been academic, governmental, grassroots, and volunteer efforts to increase access to healthy, affordable food. The work to transform our landscape is underway. It was important for me that we got all of the stakeholders involved, uh, the academic community and the government, uh, community groups, uh, everyone uh, that is involved in making sure that we have a healthy city. In 2009, Baltimore City convened the Food Policy Task Force to formulate policy recommendations. Recommendations include expanding an innovative supermarket home delivery program, marketing healthy eating to all Baltimoreans, promoting and expanding farmers markets, supporting urban agriculture, supporting research on food deserts and collaborating with policymakers, and improving the food environment around schools and recreation centers. Our objective here is to really make food accessible and affordable. And we're doing that in a variety of different ways. We're working with Johns Hopkins University Center for Global Future, and their research has really been helping us drive and implement policies. This has really been a unique experience, I think, because this type of work um, on food policy is going on around the country. But as I have talked to people who are doing this work in other parts of the country, our experience is very unique. And I think it's because we have come at it in, in such an organic manner, um, really in a partnership with the city and with community groups. And it's just been tremendous. I love healthy food. Food. and I think I should help out my community and show them there's more to life than just eating, partying. People can only make healthy choices when those choices are available to them. So only if, if healthy food is available can they choose to eat healthy food. So, so we have a number of people, epidemiologists, community uh, organizers, uh, people who care about sustainable agriculture who have been working on the issue of providing healthy food to people in Baltimore through a variety of mechanisms. With the installation of its first food policy director, Baltimore City has begun to implement the recommendations of the Food Policy Task Force through Food PAC. Last year we formed Food PAC, Food Policy Advisory Committee. And what Food PAC is really doing is to support our efforts as a city to implementing the Food Policy Task Force recommendations. This is not something one organization, one entity can do. It's about partnerships and projects and collaboration. We're trying to be very creative. We have the virtual supermarket project, we have meatless Mondays in our schools, and we also have farmers markets. And I have to say, farmers markets are doing a couple of things. Number one, they're giving people access to fresh foods, but it's also helping our local growers and uh, creating community meeting places throughout the city. You and I, you and me, you and I. We have um, a food mapping resource project, um, and that actually started because after we did a community food assessment in southwest Baltimore, we realized we had these results and we had absolutely no idea what the food landscape was out there. So we wouldn't have known how to make anything better because we didn't even know it was available. So we started that initiative with the idea in mind that we've got to start mapping the resources out there, not only the gaps, but what kinds of uh, things are available to people. It is very important that we reach people, we teach people, we help them to become engaged in these issues of food access in their neighborhoods. And as we're putting out the messages and asking people and encouraging people to eat healthy and to put healthier foods on their tables, it's incumbent upon all of us to work together to not only to present the message of what's important to our health, but also to create the infrastructure for healthier communities. We work with communities and organizations on community food assessments. We help evaluate what initiatives are going on that are really priority for Holly and for Baltimore City. So for example, the farmer's market, um, using food stamp benefits in farmer's markets has been something that we've been intimately involved with and collecting data on a regular basis um, year round and really looking at how the demand for that has gone up. We really value our partnership with the mayor's office and, and the choices that the mayor and, and her staff have made to make Baltimore a healthy place. Uh, we appreciate that these can be difficult decisions, that they're multifactorial. We're proud of the courage she showed in making these decisions. And we're here to provide expertise to help her make Baltimore a healthier place. 
We should be the healthiest people. We should be ahead of the curve when it comes to preventable illness, childhood obesity, all the things uh, that are pulling our country down. And this, that's why this is uh, so important. We have to do everything we can. So the health of our citizens reflects the wealth of resources that we have here in the city. When we look at food access issues, we're looking at food access to benefit individuals, to have healthier people, healthier neighborhoods, healthier farmers as far as healthier viability of farmers, um, and we really want to be a sustainable city. Healthy, affordable food.